One Owner Car Guy, oneownercarguy.com. And this will be the interior and the rest of the review of this 1980 commuter vehicles, commuter car, city car. Cool little car. I, you ain't seen one driving around. Street legal, really, really original. I'm gonna just kind of give you a once around here in this different kind of a light. I've actually got my beagle out here helping me. Are you helping, Breeder? Oh, are you helping? I know, I know, it's just a rough life. Yep, yep, yep. She's having a rough day, so she got to come out here with me. Street legal, got the plate and everything. That's that. Breeder, stop it. I had the motor rebuilt on this, and I had them put extra strong or thick or better conductive wire or whatever to make it a very, very powerful motor. So it will be more powerful than what it was factory, for sure. And not only that, the guy before me was some kind of engineering master type mind. And when I talked to him, I was just in awe. Here, let me show you this. I'll show you the interior, but also the entire service manual. Everything for it is right here. And actually, 590 just spent on a new axle. Hopefully that shows you. And there's other stuff, sorry, that was bought also. 440 spent on a Curtis upgrade. I believe that's the controller with high current diodes and heat plate. Potentitometer and micro I don't know what that is. There is so many receipts and stuff here. And I'll show you a lot of what he did. Also, it needs a master cylinder. And it's actually marked in here. It's $29. Uh, the, re the manual is $44. I think that's what he bought here. But it also shows the part he needed highlighted, which I'm not going to be able to find. It's probably in this piece right there. Boom. Repair kit, drum brakes, rubber only. Actually, he's got that in the back, I'll show you. Um, and then, so I've got another page in here somewhere. It's got the price. It's $22.50 or something for the master cylinder. Okay. Clean. All nice in here. I'll show you the gauges. I'm actually starting from the wrong side, but I'll show you this door panel and stuff. Very nice. Just over time, that's an awful long ways in between set screws, and I could use another one right there, right there. Um, the handles and everything, they work nicely. Locks and everything, pretty cool. Um, it's pretty much indoor outdoor carpet, and it's in really good shape. Um, we did vinyl renew this, it was a little drier. And the seats, actually, I just pushed it over that way a little bit. I'll show you underneath it. Um, in fact, let's go ahead and put this down here. And windows work on a slide here. I'm not too sure what that is. Um, like I said in the other video, I would likely upgrade those mirrors. Just because, are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> These are your turbo super duper trooper vents. I don't know what they are. They're a vent, okay? And that seat should be right about there. Um, it was drier in here. This has all been rehydrated. We didn't rehydrate the back behind the back uh, seat piece. These pull forward and that's your latch. There is a, a heater in this thing, actually, according to that. Um, look at this door panel. And I am going to actually show you this part, too, at the same time. A little reverse light. Okay, I'll leave them in there for now. It's hard to do this with the camera. I'm going to hang it around my neck here. Hang on. Sorry. Put this up. And I hope you can see there's a little latchy latch. Like that. And it holds it up. So if you want that to be up. And then I'll show you the last one out. Might as well just 
open this bad boy up. Okay, so I'm telling you what, at a car show, you're gonna stand out. That's all there is to it. I've had people ask me, is that one of them BMW cars? And I think they're thinking of that little round bubbly thing. Uh, no, it's not, but it's still a pretty cool little car and gonna be very collectible. They didn't make very many, man. A couple thousand. Got your bin tag up in here with a piece of cloth stuck on it. Um, okay. Doesn't look like this was ever used. And light little specks on the mirror, I mean the windows. Okay, lenses all seem to be good. You got your defrosting things, you got everything in here. I don't have my keys with me. And it really isn't going to matter because I don't have the batteries for it. So it isn't going to be a driving test drive. There's a crack in, there's a piece like that up in here and there's a crack in it. Right there, you can see it underneath the master cylinder. That totally, hopefully you can see right here. It needs to be replaced. You can see that's the problem. And the front drags a little bit because of that. And it could be also because it needs to be replaced. And that is right there. I'll show you in a second. Um, you got all the directional stuff there. And then there's the power on. It's only got 2,288 miles on it. So whoever had it hardly drove it anywhere. Um, lights up when you do stuff. Um, you've got all kinds of different dash dimmer. Um, I don't know what that one's for. That's lights in the front. I know that. Um, accessory wiper. Wow, the wipers all work and stuff. Um, got a couple gauges here, different readings. We figured out that two, three, four, five, six says front, rear, and center or seat. Um, we think this is the readings for the batteries. Reader, what are you doing? And he's got a little resistor capacitor there. Um, this here goes up and hooks into this uh, speaker or somewhere up here. We lost that one, don't know where. It comes out of this though, so it probably goes to the batteries. Um, everything for this entire vehicle is in this port. Two post radio, remember them? I think that's the blower motor and that's the fan. And actually, <laughs> this thing is solar so we didn't even know it has old batteries in it. Um, the two back here are old. And there's one under the seat right now. There's two up here. Let me show you these as well. Where you can get it. Um, idea. See, they're dusty. Um, they need to be hooked together. I was going to replace them all. <clears throat> um, I told you in the other video, my guy gives me the heavy-duty RV batteries like this. Probably for about 50 to 65 a piece. Um, just depends on what he's got in stock at the moment. Oh yeah, I was going to show you that. That's the heavy brake set. And it has the actual 110 or whatever AC, I don't know what kind it is. The other kind, not car kind of plug-in over there. Um, this, which goes under the seat. I'm going to go ahead and close this. There we go. Lenses all look good. This is a nice little car. This thing, the coolest thing would be to go to a, a show with it. Um, I'm going to hang this around my neck again. Kind of a holder, like a console holder thing in the middle. <clears throat> the actual guts to it. Now I had this motor rebuilt by Broadway Auto Electric here in town, which is one of the best. Yeah, so that's all rebuilt. It's just set out in the dirt lot and storage lot. This guy upgraded this. This is your Axe Auxilitrack thing. I think that piece right there is like 440 or 560 bucks. It was one of them. But that's your controller, I believe. Um, and woo buddy. Um, so between this and this, this is a lot hotter than what it was from the factory. Um, little things like this wires came disconnected from this, and it kind of, it takes an extra little 
battery to run this controller. And so different things like that that are wired in. This one here goes to that plug back there. Plug back there, charges it. There you go. He plugs that in and it charges it. Then that comes off here. He's got an intricate thing and it's all diagrammed out in the books. Um, let me show you from the other side. There's your vents and stuff to make the heat come out of the back. Pretty cool designed little car. If you want something like this, this is as unique as it gets. And this will be one of the cleanest, most original ones you find. Um, it's got all the valves and stuff for turning off. And a little piece of foam in here. Um, solenoid, pretty standard. I don't know if that's a... I don't know what that is. So all this, we haven't hooked back onto the motor yet. Um, and that's that. That's about all I can say about this thing. It is a cool, cool car. Um, right here, I showed you all that. But this has every... I mean, there's so many diagrams. And this guy filled in his stuff to where it's not just regular and to a city car. It's a specific to this car. Every diagram for everything and different ways you can run things to get more ohms or more things that I don't understand. All kinds of mathematical equations. It's a general electric motor. It's an actual Dana axle. Pretty cool information in here. Transaxle type of system. Okay, so I think you understand what you're getting with that. Uh-oh. Breeder's gonna get involved. I'm gonna push that over there. Whoa, I thought it was gonna go off the other side. Okay, this. And I'll put the seat back in gonna have to say goodbye here in a second. Breeder, it's okay. It's like with daddy. I'm protecting us. Don't you get it? Actually, the seat belts have got to come out of there. So, we're in it. Um, this piece is loose, as you see it'll fold up, but as you can also see, the floor is very nice underneath it. Um, I would replace this at some point. I'd probably put some kind of blue in it. Okay, that's your review of the car, car, car. A couple tiny cracks starting right there. Um, this has a kind of a film on it, like almost a tint. That's where it's hooked up to, um, your batteries from there they come down and go there it's really simple on the wiring stuff I wish I had time to fix this thing up and cruise it around my little nieces are coming over and they were gonna be in a video for it but their dad don't want to their mom said they could actually which surprised me but so with that in mind kids love this car kids absolutely love this car uh, reader that's enough of that Okay, so we've done everything. I've showed you everything. I'm going to give you another quick walk around and tell you that there's a solar panel missing from the back, which is a really easy replacement model. I think they're, I think they're 25 to 40 bucks a pop. Um, it is cool. Breeder! Jeez, and it plugs right into those batteries. Um, I can get you batteries cheap, 50 to 65 a pop, and. There's two here. I think there's supposed to be another one over there. So two under the seat and two in the front. Six batteries. You don't want to buy them at Walmart at 120 bucks a piece. It's getting expensive nowadays. Let me get you some refurbished ones for half that price. Okay, one, you know what? I don't even know if you can get a good RV battery for that kind of money for 120. I think it'd probably be 150. Okay, but once that's nailed, and see, for me, it's like a slot machine. I've got all these cool classic cars and that one right there, the SLC, it's a fuel pump. The Wagoneer, it's a carburetor. That one's another fuel pump on the GTA. Um, just different things, different cars. Breeder, 
That one there is just a fuel regulator. But I have 120 cars to be redoing, and if I didn't have thanks, thanks. He said, "Cool little blue car." And you get little comments like that. The kids see this car, they just go crazy. They're all dad, dad, dad. And they'll like be smacking their parent. But okay, thanks for watching. Have a great day or night, whatever it is, wherever you are. Nathan, 406 546 8748. I wanted to show you this. It looks like that is kind of chipped right there. Nothing big. Yeah, I see there's a little chip on that one. Okay, that's all I got to say. One owner car guy, oneownercarguy.com. Full on all kinds of pictures on there. Nathan's my name, 406-546-8748, and I'll sell you this car. Thanks for watching. We'll talk to you.